Hi, I'm David Melvin, Field Service Manager with CPI North America. We're going to talk about dispensing issues with BevMax and how to solve them. Have you ever gone to your BevMax and noticed that during the dispense cycle, that after the product is dispensed into the cup, that the cup drops a little bit? Or have you noticed that when the cup goes to deliver at the discharge port, that it hits too low? Two common reasons that you will find that the cup drops after product is dispensed into it. Number one is the Y belt is too loose. Number two, it could be a bad Y motor. But I will tell you from experience, the most often is a loose Y belt. And when it comes to a loose Y belt, the biggest reason is because it has a belt tension spring and it's broken. To replace the belt tensioner spring, take the top part of the spring, hook it to the tread side of the belt, tuck the spring portion behind the belt on the smooth side, and wrap the bottom portion of the spring around to the tread side. Position the belt tension spring below the bottom clamp and above the pulley. Easy way to determine if your Y belt is too loose. Lift the cup up, let go of it. If it immediately drops back down, your belt's too loose. To check the Y belt, you have to remove the Y axis cover. In order to remove the Y axis cover, there are a total four screws. Top screw gets loosened, the other three have to come out. If you remove the Y axis cover and you notice that the belt tensioner spring is in place, then that just means you're going to have to adjust the belt. By using vice grips to hold onto the edge of the belt, that will help you when you loosen the two screws and the belt not take off and run from you. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel. There's a lot of information out there and it's valuable. Uh, you, you'll get a lot out of it. Thank you.